Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we went golfing today. I went golfing today. University of Georgia course. I so thought those were lottery tickets. 83. Not this time. I spent too much money on those. Not a great return on investment, if I'm being honest. While I was golfing, though, Tate, you were kind of busy, and I wasn't allowed in. But what were you up to this evening? Um, we got these babies. These Quattro ringos, baby. Shit. What's each ring for? Quattro. So the biggest one is a natty ring. The darker one, peach bowl ring, which is probably personally my favorite one. It just looks really good. That's sick. Then we got the SEC championship one, the one we've been after for a little bit now. And then we have the CFP ring that they send the winners every year. It's got the semifinal game, the national championship game, and the SEC scores. And Dub. Pretty cool. Good box this year, too. Yeah. Well, I'm a big fan of the box this year. I got to go by and get it sometime this week. I'm a villain in that place now. All right, we'll do a little week, weekend recap. For, actually, let's go fist pump feature first. That's obviously your fist pump feature. You're getting the actually, rings. I got a different fist pump feature. Fist pump feature? What'd fist pump feature. There you go. I don't know if y'all saw it, but the first play of the spring game. I did not see it. Oh, we didn't put a left right. guard on the field for Devin. Took a delay yeah. game, right? Took a delay game. Ten people on That's the field. Awesome, dude. Everybody took their helmets off, lift them to the air. So that meant a lot to me. First play of a game that I've ever, like, first, first play. That I've ever been crying during. Really? Yeah. I think everybody was. So that's really cool, man. Yeah. That was uh I saw I wasn't able to see the first part of the game, but I saw it on social media and I was that was one that, that hurt that I that wasn't a part of. I mm -hmm. one that was pretty cool to cool to see. Speaking of, how'd you play? Graded out of ninety. Did you really? Yeah. Did you haven't been below like an eighty five all spring? I've been having a good spring. Yeah, I've I've played a really good game, I think. Or I guess I did. Red team? Red team, dub. Haven't Beanie, lost a spring game and since I've been or here. steak and lobster. Mm. Haven't lost a spring game since I've been here. Stay in school, kids, because when you're not, you get smoothie king. When you are, you get, you rings get prime and steak rib and lobster and lobster and rings mm. on time. Speaking of smoothie king, what uh, what are you sipping on right now? Give us the flavor. Take a guess. Strawberry, strawberry Hulk. Hulk. No. I was gonna say strawberry banana. No. The Gladiator. Oh, it's close. Close. Double scoop of protein. Mm-hmm. Strawberry mango. Have you ever had strawberry their, uh, mango coffee so smoothies? So underrated. So oh, underrated, mango. dude. Uh, Miss Collier got me on it. Shout out Miss C. This is very like on par for me. But have you ever had their coffee smoothies? No, but it was in bold on there, and I almost got it. Phenomenal, dude. You just love coffee. I do. I have had like four cups like, today, but people drink it. For, like, yeah, I drink it for the caffeine, but I like genuinely like like the flavor of coffee. I'm beginning to. I'm starting to have caffeine headaches when I don't have caffeine. These babies in my house, hopefully this week. Shout out Apotheos. Yep, Goated. Shout out Apotheos. Iron Flavor is a local Athens company that loves supporting the dogs. Founded by UGA alumni Davis and Jenna Knox, this company is your go-to resource for all things grilling. They got dry rubs, barbecue pellets, charcoal, and the new and innovative Hero Portable Grill. Fire and Flavor gets it done. And find their products at fireandflavor.com or at your local Striplings, Publix, or Lowe's Home Improvement. Use their code TAILGATE, that's TAILGATE, for 25% off on their website. Again, their website is fireandflavor.com. Use the code TAILGATE for 25% off. Do you have a burner account? That's I used burner. to have a burner account. Very toxic. Said supposed to be. But my burner account, I used to go on there, get arguments with Republicans, get our arguments with liberals, and people would like go through my account and they'd respond to me like, dude, what do you even believe in? Like you're in here <laughs> arguing with everybody. Having a good burner account is one of the joyous things in life. I even talk shit about myself. I think NIL is ruining college football. A thousand percent. I think you like, don't don't get me wrong. I I enjoy making money mm -hmm. for doing this since I don't have time to have other ways of income. Um, in my opinion, it creates an opportunity like this to happen. And yes, I love that. I agree. But yes. for it to come down to people getting paid just to go somewhere. I think that's where it's going. Like, NIL is recruiting now. Yep. And that's where it's going to start going really downhill. I really do think that second, third, fourth year, fifth year guys should be getting paid. Mm -hmm. Like, don't get me wrong. I think there's a lot of people out here that don't come from as much as other people, and they need it. I agree. Um, I really think that, like... And as much as every coach says they're not, oh, you got to come here and earn your money first, that is not true. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's an incentive for you to sign somewhere. You know, I don't know if that's how it is here. I'm not really sure, but like, that's just I, I don't, friends that I have at other places. That's how like, they're getting paid right away. I don't keep up with how much people are getting paid. Like, I'm not going to go around pocket watching or whatever, but you can hear conversations just anywhere. Like, I know people that are early in, that are early enrolled everywhere. And they're all talking about like, oh, I could have made this much going here, this much going here. Mm -hmm. And it's just so go. And I completely agree with you, but to be fair, like there's a lot of stories of people that committed because they're going to be paid that. And then don't. Go in there they and don't. They don't. They're not, they're not getting fucking paid. Nope. Like I came to it's, I committed It's a bad Georgia. deal on both ends. Like there are people not following through, but there's also people. Well, at, at what point, like this person's getting paid X amount and then every two months they want this amount and then this amount and then this amount. Like there's got to be a. Like I committed to Georgia because I loved it here. Mm-hmm. I was excited for the meals and the and the weekly stipend check and the gear and the gear. The, like as a recruit, I know there was people getting paid before NIL started or whatever. Everywhere it was just like you saw like if just gear was sick. Dude, speaking of broken systems, my truck my truck's broken. Mm. There's a little Still? piece. Of, there's a little piece inside the transmission that's that's mm -hmm. broken. I know exactly what piece you're talking about. I don't know the name of it, but I know exactly what piece you're talking about. Good for you. I don't know. So basically the way, what it is, is it's a piece broke off that basically makes your truck shift all the way from one gear to another without having a middle ground. Boom. Right. Yep. So when I'm going between 30 and 50, yeah, I, like when I accelerate to, to get into a different gear, I get caught in between gears for like two seconds and it makes a, like a screeching noise. And so I just, I just drift for like two seconds and then it catches and goes. Yeah. Transmissions aren't cheap. Yeah. Funny story about a transmission. So I don't know if you know this. Dodge trucks are notorious for having the worst transmissions out of it, all trucks. Really? We're over there by the hotel, like literally just like straight ahead over there. I don't know what it's called. Hyatt. Like the Hyatt, yeah. Guy. Shout out Miss Angela, best get, hotel in town. Keep going. Guy has to get over there, get around me to get to the turn he's taking. So we both like take off at a pretty decent pace. He thinks he wants to floor it. <laughs> Big bang. His truck just Stops like dead stop. Oh, I look back. Oh, his trans part of his transmission is hanging out the bottom of his oh. truck, oh. and I am dying laughing. A little tomato action right now. It feels like a Thursday, not a Monday. It's popping. Yeah, I was noticing springtime. A lot of people out. I got, dude, I got such a busy week. Yeah, we, we have, have so we much have homework. Shuttles tomorrow. Oh, I forgot the week after team run. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's when last year, were, yeah, I'm not going to go down that train. Um, all right, weekend recap. So you played good. Your team won. Mm -hmm. What would you do in celebratory fashion Saturday and Sunday? Um, Sleep? Yes. <laughs> I couldn't turn my neck, my head to the left Sunday. So I went and got some needles stuck in my trap, which is my least favorite thing in this on this planet. You feel good then, now, don't you? Yes. Yep. But I, I hate getting needled. Especially in my traps, yep. my muscles like try to like suck the needle in. It's, they spaz. Yeah, like, it causes the muscle to spaz. So from the top of my neck, oh, it's the best recovery. I'll thing show ever. you on this side. The top of my neck from here down to like my mid back, all like twitching from the needle being right here. Dude, um, I was talking to because Ryan, and, Ryan can, and Chris can do it now. Mm -hmm. They're certified. They're and in order to get certified, like they were doing each other's needling, like testing, they're, like and they were going from like toe all the way up to like forehead. Of like needles. The needle like doesn't hurt going mm -hmm. in. It depends on it's what it is in the your skin. Your muscle starts twitching. I don't mind that at all. I For me, like I have sensitive skin, so on certain points, like it, it'll prick and it's a it hurts. Like I I was having violent. Then you twitches. attach. Then you attach stem to it and you stem it with the needles in there. It's electric. Like the best thing for my calf and like my foot to like have it be getting it mobile again is needling my calf. And you want to like it hurts, but you want to talk about curing your pain, like. Or making it worse. You could make it worse. It, it, it's different for each person. But, dude, like when I needle my patella tendon or my back, within a day, I'm great for a week. So, yeah, the reason I couldn't watch y'all spring game is I was in old Starkville with the uh, the Bulldogs. They do a pretty cool thing called uh, Bulldog Weekend. So, baseball plays a series with Ole Miss. Mm -hmm. Volleyball plays Ole Miss. Spring football game. And then a Brett Eldridge concert after. Tennessee has one of those. Really? I went when I was, like, really little. We went from baseball game, spring game, volleyball game, Oof, and then they had something after. I was too young to remember it, but <laughs> we did it. So they broke the attendance record for a college baseball game. Over 16,500 people 
walk off in the night. It it's actually you could hear, I bet the place was rocking. You could hear the stadium throughout the entire city of Starkville. Wow. That's crazy to think that that's a record attendance. Mm -hmm. Like and I then, get it. Like it's a smaller venue, yeah. But like to think that we play in front of ninety three thousand every home game, and that's not right. even like close to the biggest stadium. Yeah, dude. And, and so then we went golfing after. I didn't send you this picture. Two inches away from my first hole in one. 183 yard par three. I had a uh, six what'd iron. The what'd the Braves announcer say? An envy of men everywhere. Three <laughs> inches bigger. You wish you'd have had three inches on that one, don't you? Mm -hmm. Flew it over the flag, backspun it two inches away. One more rotation. Six iron. Six iron. Dude, everything's too much spin. My driver was backspinning. It was so wet and I hit it so high that it was backspinning my driver. It's okay. My, I slice my driver every time I swing it. Your putter was hot today, man. I don't think I missed a putt within t inside 10 feet. It was electric. Dude, okay, huge news to this morning. How about Jalen Hurts? Oh, my Lord. That boy got paid. Did y'all see it? Five-year, $255 million. How about, how about his agent story? Did you hear about this? Yeah, she just DM'd him. Just, she was a brand-new agent, just DM'd him out of nowhere, shot in the dark. He signs with her, and she just signed him the biggest contract that is wild. per year in NFL history. But there's a there's a clause, there's a no trade clause to it, first ever in Eagle history. So he's locked in for five years. He ain't going nowhere. Good for them. He's a baller. They're going to be dangerous. They they were dangerous this year. Kelsey's back. Nicole. That offensive line is disgusting. Mm -hmm. They have Lane Johnson, who's considerable one of Will the best offensive tackles. Peck, after his pecs, was it peck surgery? Yeah, he'll be back. Uh, Landon Dickerson. Who was cut? How about that? He got cut. He was cut by the Cowboys. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I thought you meant he got cut by the Eagles. No, 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 no. Yeah. Have you ever seen his truck? No, so his sick. front bumper, he drives an F-250. His front bumper is wood. And it's just like, I don't know how he has it attached, but it looks it looks pretty cool. It's kind of cool. I like that. It's unique. So, I mean, to flash back, I guess that's my fist pump feature of the week since I didn't do one. That's going up. Mississippi State. Wow, interesting. Okay. <laughs> I love it. I don't it. know if I like it. I love it. All right, let's see here. May. So this is like, you. we get like a month, you get a month off. I've been off for four months. But. Thank God. Dude, I, okay, hold on. I ran for the first time last night. Oh my God. Just now started running? Well, we did like three months. I mean, just bulk. I gained, it was like 17 and a half pounds of muscle in 12 weeks. Roll. I mean, dude, I was, I was 260, 269. Put him at tackle. No. But, dude, so I ran. Tackles I ran. I did four to the five tempos every 30 seconds and died. How many yards? Across 50 all the way. Across. Died. Man, my lungs still hurt. I went to class this morning, and I just I couldn't walk. You've never smoked before, but felt like you've been smoking a pack a day for the, your whole life running, didn't you? I felt like my lungs were the size of my balls. <sighs> and you got some little balls. Well. I mean, comparable to everybody's lungs. Yeah, I, yeah. You're, I mean, yeah, I do. <laughs> Thanks for bringing me striplings. I was really excited. I, I was thinking about it in my mind. I should have texted you. They didn't have to go. I don't even. Did they have to go boxes? You said they did, Patrick, didn't you? I didn't even see them. Did they go boxes? Yeah. No. I wish I would have known that. I would have got myself some. Dude, that prime rib was mashed mash That potatoes. prime rib was very <laughs> mediocre. Okay, good. I thought you were going to say good. <laughs> Might get ahi after this. The I've, had, was, I've had ahi. Salmon was pretty solid. 20 times in the last two months. I'm not an ahi guy. What? I mean, not so, salmon. The white rice? Time, been there one time. Lobster. I'll never go back. Shit. What'd Where? you get? Ahi? I love that place. Oh, the know. white rice with the white meat chicken? Wait, where are you talking about? Ahi, right here. Oh. White rice. Tuna. Talking um, about like poke bowl? I don't get the poke bowl. I get, do I. I get the hibachi. Oh, I get the poke I bowl. I got hibachi too. I didn't like it. I get the, get the poke bowl. So I'm not a raw out. fish guy. Only on occasions. You're you know soft minded. Mean? You have soft hands. <laughs> I do have soft hands. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> you have soft hands, brother. <laughs> you got soft hands, pal. Can we talk about Chris from Mr. Beast? What happened? He's like a woman now. No way. Yeah. Interesting. And he's got a wife and kids, or had a wife and it has a kid. The whole Riley no Gaines situations. Have you just say that? Uh, Riley Green changed mm -hmm. the lyrics of his song. We applaud you. Song. Uh, the one where he says. Cold Bud Light. It's not Bud Light anymore. The coolers never run out of cold Bud Light. He says cold cores light now. 
That is the mountains are one blue. One of my all-time favorite country songs. Dude, I mean, it's, I like blue. it. Mm. Oh, you Dude. See, Patrick, if I ever went onto a golf course with you, hey, we'd have a great time. Ryan had his first transfusion on the golf course. Elect that's what I was trying to think of what it was. That's the transfusion. Electric. Electric. Michelobes? No, what? Or my, I know what you're talking about, actually. Never, the yeah, vodka. never mind. You know the, the Michelob transfusion or, in, or infusions. Never mind. I know what you're talking about Thanks, now. idiot. Says the one won't even have a beer with the boys on a golf course. Yes, I would. I'm 21. We're both 21. We can have beers. I'm about to turn 22 here. And I turn 23 in five weeks. Nine days. Really? Yep. Oh, what, what are we doing? What are we doing? For your birthday. I don't know. Probably. Who's about to turn what when? I'm 20, turn 22 in nine days. We have to go to dinner or something. Electric. Annabelle mentioned dinner. I don't know. May. What are you doing for May? Me? Mm -hmm. Uh, Your bachelor trip. Yep. I guess. It's going to be a blast. I can't wait to see you in a kayak. That's going to be cool. I will not be getting in a kayak. You're, you're kayaking. I'm not 13th, kayaking. 14th. You are definitely kayaking. I'm not kayaking. Uh, listen to this. A group of us had tickets, and the person that bought the tickets, after his tweet about his whole situation, you don't know what I'm talking about? Zach Bryan's tweet? Zach Bryan uh, tweeted in support of um, transgenders and like just supporting them, whatever, and you know that's what he believes, so I mean, good for him, but... The person that bought the tickets for all of us sold the tickets or gave them away after that happened. So I don't know. I don't think we're going anymore. But not really up to me. I'm just kind of rolling with the flow. Trying to get tickets to Logan's. Oh, dude. Him and Megan are going to Decatur. Decatur. Where? Decatur. They're oh. sold out. It's a smaller venue, apparently. What day? Saturday? Or, yeah, Saturday. Saturday. Dang but it. we have that gala. If I would have gotten tickets to this, I just probably would not have shown up. I'm going to be completely honest. What? What's the... All the seniors are gone, so what are they going to do for the gala? Just like... Who? Like, so my freshman year when we did the gala... Oh, this is like a different type of gala, I think. This is this big one that's coming Saturday. Yeah, like, what is it? So it's... It was originally from us and the Touchdown Club, and then UGA is helping us put it on. It's at the indoor facility. We're selling tables for like $20,000 a pop, other tables for $10,000 a pop. So it's not like the player no. the team... Okay. Every, we have like 450 people right now. How many how many tables total? How many people with land? That's forty five tables probably, right? Ten to a table ish. We're doing eight to a table and then one player or a coach and his wife. So ten at the yeah, most with yeah. a player and his wife. Nine with just a player. Do you know how many people with land will be there? Could you <laughs> shake some, let me introduce me to some people? The the Jordan hold on, pause. The number forty eight overall prospect who was a tight end, Landon Thomas, who just committed to Georgia for the 2024 class, just flipped today. And he just signed, like, or he just committed, like, two weeks ago. Speaking of concerts, I went to uh, Ben Rector on Friday. How was it? Amazing. Dang it, dude. I knew so many people were going. I couldn't make it, but, oh, I'm so jealous. It was so good. I mean, that's where the hat's from right here. Mm -hmm. um, but, man, it was, I mean. Yeah, I, I love Ben Rector. He's arguably, like, my all-time favorite artist. So, like, it was sick. And he was, I mean, he was a little bit under the weather, but, like, he still put on a show. He's a, he's a performer for sure. Like, he's a, That's so awesome. He, he did a QA and a in the middle of, of the concert, which was sick. Like, people got to ask him questions, and it was it was really cool. You're like, I'm just holding. That's the, awesome, dude. I knew it was going to be a blast. <laughs> Tate holding his meat. <laughs> Gotta love it. They took a picture, and they're like, Show us your steak. I just picked it up and held it like Dude, this. That looks so good. Oh. Is that from tonight? Yeah. <laughs> Tay, tell us about, uh, that's going us about on, tonight. Walk very, us through tonight. That's going um, on the Instagram. I'm screenshotting that and send it to. We had a workout, meetings, got our rings. I'm scared. To, actually, I'll, I'm scared to go on your photos. Just send it to me, please. There's nothing bad in there. I don't even want to know, though. Oh, here's a funny story from this weekend. Actually, go and finish. I'm going all over the place tonight. Got our steaks. Got our lobster, blank, got our blank. rings. So it was pretty cool. I bet it was cool. <laughs> Not sad. Oh, thanks for the text, date. Appreciate it. So this weekend, uh, we went back to Will Rogers' house and uh, just hanging out, having a good time with the boys. Played some cards, played some games, ended up going to bed probably around 1, 1.30. Ooh. And it was their... Uh, they stay up that late down there? Dude, everything closes at midnight. The bars, everything. It's awesome. For an old soul like me, but 
They're like, yeah, we're, we're going turkey hunt at 4 a.m. We're getting, we're going. I'm like, all right. Well, I hear him leave. Like, it's like 5.30. I'm like, I'm, I'm going to drive it home that day, so I'm not going turkey hunting. But they ended up leaving at like 5.30. I roll back over. Slam. I hear the door slam at like 7. I guess they went out there, sat for 15 minutes, came back, and they went right back to sleep at like 7.15. They didn't stay there long at all. And they I was just, like, mm. They just walked out their front, front or back door and just. And then drove to the land probably 20 minutes oh. away, and they're like, Nah, never mind. Turned around, came back, laid back in bed. It wasn't like it was like cold out or anything this morning. What was they were just tired. Three hours of sleep after the spring game. It was kind of like, yeah. But, you know. How did the Bulldogs look? Look good, man. They look really good. They used a tight end a ton, dude. So it was exciting to see. They're they had a good little good. crowd, too. Huh? Is their tight end there good? Uh, they had. They just have a lot of guys converted to tight end right now. Uh-oh. They don't have any tight ends, true tight ends. But I got me and the kid from TCU coming. So hopefully we can make something. Those of you that actually watched the whole podcast through, we'll talk about this later, but we're going to go ahead and introduce this. We're going to be doing a live show in probably two and a half weeks. If you're still I'm going to get canceled. <laughs> I saw so what you times. commented on my on the TikTok about my kid. So I wouldn't no, be smart no, enough. No. That is the one thing my kid would understand. Somebody somebody else commented and I just said, yeah, that's right. No, you definitely said <laughs> somebody, no one's kids is thinking of that and you someone, said yeah, Taylor's like, especially not my kid would be kid. like, why does someone need three inches? And someone was like, your kid ain't smart enough to worry about that. And I was like, yeah, definitely Tate's kid isn't. My kid would, that's the something my kid would understand at like the age of four. I'd say it's probably bad parenting. I can't but, wait to have a child. What's stopping you now? Blind draft time? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, I went blank there, <laughs> dude. I've got a, I've got an interview to do and two paper, two stories to write for the Echo after Student this. Student so. athlete. I already have all of my, I already have all seven of my stories, and they, they're like, hey, uh, can you do this and this for this week? What well, was it, do told it new? No. But cool. Will you stop being a little kid? <laughs> I have blind draft time. Blind yeah. Draft. All right. So blind draft. We're going. Country Are artist. we sticking country artists? Country artists. Okay, let's go. We're going to keep it one through five. We don't know what's coming next. Top five country artists. Bobby, go. Number one, Luke Combs. Mm. Oh, I'm going to go two. I like three. I like three for Luke Combs. <laughs> two. I'm going two. I'm, three. A, I'm big on Luke Combs. I put a lot of big names in here, so this will be fun. Keith Urban. Five. Five. I figured. Kenny She's Chesney. a female. Four. Isn't he gay? Four. <laughs> I put him at seven. <laughs> I'm going four. Uh, uh, four. And he's a Tennessee fan. Wow. I hate his music I with like a passion. All right. I didn't mind. I went to him and Zach Brown. Didn't mind it, but go Chris ahead. Chris Stapleton. Oh, one. Three. One. Easy one. He's f- first dance the, for the for the wedding. Like he. Okay. Last one, Garth Brooks. Two. Easy two. That's beautiful. One. Man. My, my, love it. One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. Run through them one more time. One is Garth Brooks. Two is Luke Combs. Three is Stapleton. Four is, four is Chesney. Chesney. Five is whoever the first one was. Keith Urban. Keith Urban. Chris Stapleton, Garth Brooks, Kenny Chesney, Luke Combs, Kenny Chesney. Kenny Chesney had one song Keith that made Urban. me hate him forever. Jeez. Come over. I, I just, He I just, says it 12,000 times, and I think he's gay, and he's a Tennessee fan. I'm getting frustrated with doing these, and you guys – being content with your orders like i just want to make them tough for you one time like somehow some way every single time even though i put like bang like chris stapleton and garth brooks at the bottom of the list and luke combs up at the top like i figured i was making it a little tougher no no sir (laughs) unbelievable i love it but who is your favorite country artist chris stapleton and garth brooks a second like one two that was perfect for me i'll give you my top three alan jackson george Strait, jason aldane Chris Stapleton, and Garth Brooks, Alan Jackson. I was going to put Alan Jackson on the list. Yeah. Alan Jackson's and then probably, a hard one. Probably. Dude, Cody Johnson's getting up there for me I'm a little a bit. Kojo yeah, fan Kojo's too. getting up there. I'd go Kojo and, and Luke probably in the five, four or five spot. What's your opinion on Luke Bryan? Uh, great personality, great go TV dogs, personality. Go dogs. Music. Dang it. it. I, I was going to put him on there too. I don't, I don't know. I think. It's not good. It depends on the but song. But I'm a big fan of you. Not really, but. If he wants to defend it, you can come on the show and hang out with us for a little bit. I'm sure it sounds better in person. <laughs> wow. Breaking news, Taylor Howard is not a Luke Bryan fan. I don't great know, Great guy. Seems like yeah, a Yeah, after watching his documentary, the dude is a hell of a Just dude. Not, the, not a fan of his Heck movie. of a dude. And he's arguably, this is the best panel of American Idol judges there's been. Katy Perry, 
Lionel Richie and Luke Bryan. I love <laughs> Lionel it. Lionel Richie's hilarious. I love it. Dude, speaking of American Idol, this season is unbelievable. Un of what? American Idol. I haven't watched it. Dude. Unreal. Unreal. I also don't Probably watch American watch Idol. So. I haven't watched it in like three don't years. I don't care about American Idol. Dude, but I'm, there's two other country people in this that are unreal in this season. Dude, I do not want to go home and do homework. I can't wait for you to go home and do homework. I do homework. not want to hop on this interview. I do not want to write two stories. I don't want to. <laughs> Me and Tater sitting here like, we can't wait to get back. Go play the show. I don't want to just go home, eat ahi, and watch movies. Right.